Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Those of you who are new here, my name is Jax. I am a registered nutritionist and a specialist in exercise therapy. And what I do is I share my experience with my anorexia recovery. I struggled with anorexia for 15 years. I've been in recovery for about six, seven months now. After my recent diagnosis with osteoporosis, which I spoke about on my channel, a lot of you reached out to me. So two things that I have is osteoporosis and hypothalamic amenorrhea, which is no period, which has been about six years. Now what I'm doing is I'm showing you how I treat my patients by the way I'm treating myself at the moment in my recovery. And I have worked a lot with doctors as well throughout this process. And a lot of you are going through the same things that have reached out to me. So what I'm doing today is I'm showing you how I eat typically away from a challenge, like the day after a challenge and pretty much how I live my life to fix, heal and reverse this whole nasty situation we got on here because we don't need no weak sore bones right now in this thing and if I and I made a commitment that I'm gonna build myself up strong enough to compete in an Ironman next year so that's what I'm doing now that is the plan that's on the good old vision board as we like to call it and so today is just a day that I'm showing you a full day of eating the way I would the way I would want to eat to quickly fast track my recovery to the point where I'm the strongest I've ever been in my entire life mentally and physically trust me I ain't there yet I have a lot of snotty cries after some challenge days Not not gonna lie to you but so that's why I love sharing this whole process the ups the down the good the bad and if you're in a similar place and you want a friend to go along the ride with you then join me on my channel join me on my journey like this video subscribe to my channel let's get straight into it a lot of oats I know but the thing is as you wake up in the morning you want to eat within about an hour an hour to an hour and a half after waking up so that your body doesn't start producing cortisol breakfast that I made this morning it was really high in fat and oleic acid so that is in the peanut butter it's in the coconut almond milk I used a coconut based milk as well because it has natural coconut cream in it again the fats will help you absorb everything that's in the meal itself and then pecans again, which are really high in vitamin C, which is essential for skin health, bone health. Remember, little vitamins and minerals are actually carriers. It helps your body to absorb the things like the calcium, everything like that in it. But I start my day off with a very high, like carb dense, hearty meal so that my body has constant fuel throughout the day. So it's like constantly, it never gets into a stage where it's at a deficit during the day or at a stage where it's trying to find resources for energy because then it starts breaking down muscles it starts using and compromising your other systems in your body so you want to do this at like wham bam thank you ma'am this is like a pretty much face punch to your body as you wake up it's not as aggressive as it sounds it's a loving face punch it's like oh i'm gonna i'm gonna help you I realized i should have really used another analogy but that's pretty much it and remember the date syrup is really high in magnesium and manganese date syrup has been pretty much my little my miracle my little miracle juice. We're all about that period and bone life on this this biscuits channel. I refer to myself as a biscuit. Random thought, but what's your favorite biscuit? Let me know in the comments section down below. Well, before I go for my shower and I'm all disgusting and gross, yuck jacks, um, I'm gonna show you some of the things that I take. So the first thing is a calcium, mag oh, come on, focus. It's just calcium, magnesium, and a zinc supplement because again, your body needs magnesium and zinc to help absorb the calcium. All three of them work together with, the, with your body. I do take a prescription-based vitamin D supplement and that is just a once in a week, a once in a week type of thing. Next, we have this glucosamine and chondriotin. It's one of those, these are for the joints itself because if you stabilize the joints they don't put pressure on the rest of your bones as much so i'm trying to build up the collagen in my joints the cartilage i do take a collagen supplement as well but as a powder that i'm going to show you later on that i put in my smoothies i usually have that as like my afternoon snack and then i take glutamine powder 
Now, a lot of bodybuilders use glutamine because all it's used in helping to repair the muscle. So if you rip it a lot during a gym session, it repairs it. Now, the same in any type of recovery or any type of osteoporosis, osteoporenia, your muscles and your bones need that aid to recover with an essential amino acid, which is glutamine. That is why this has been incredible, incredible, incredible. And if I said it a fourth time, would that make a difference? If it did, okay, incredible. Everything is completely natural. It's an amino acid which your body produces anyway. It's herbs. It helps the whole process along. But like I said, you can't overdo it on these type of things because they are completely natural, which is what I like. snacks probably look more like a mini meal now what that was and how that helps with my body is what I always make sure that I have is a high fat good quality source of calcium so I use full fat Greek yogurt and your body actually needs the fat to help absorb the calcium and it also needs the fat to help lubricate your joints next thing I used was the chia seeds now what chia seeds do is they have omega-3s and omega-6s and that's an anti-inflammatory fat what that does is that's going to help deflame around the joints and it's going to help reduce any of the tension, stiffness or soreness around the joints themselves. Next we have pawpaw, papaya, whatever you want to call it, it's like that ah, potato, potato. But what pawpaw does is it has the digestive enzymes to help your body actually digest the meal you've just had and absorb the nutrients from it. So if your gut is functioning well, it can gather every single beautiful thing that you've just put in that bowl. Dragon fruit because I love dragon fruit and it helps you poop. The little seeds and the fiber is gorgeous. But always making sure that you have a, also vitamin C is what helps your body absorb the magnesium and the calcium. So you need the fats and the vitamin C together so that you can actually extract the calcium. Now if you are vegan, I would recommend going for like a cashew based yogurt instead of a coconut yogurt because there is a lot of fats and proteins together and vitamin E in the cashew itself. And of course, having the bread with the cottage cheese and the strawberry yogurt, again, it just ups the calories a bit, gives your body extra energy to repair and heal any damage that there is done. Cottage cheese is a beautiful form of calcium, protein, and fats together. So I like to mix and combine my meals because the way your body can get calcium out of something from cottage cheese to yogurt to milk, it's the same as different cuts of meat. It all has different types of strains of calcium, different strands of magnesium, different strands of vitamin D. So just making sure you have like a diverse various range of sources to extract everything. Then finally with the pomegranate seeds, pomegranate surprisingly enough is so high in iron, which is great, especially if you're in recovery, trying to get your period back. And remember the more blood you have, the more you can actually heal joints. It's why like a like the cut can feel itchy when it's healing it's just all the blood flow to the area so that's my little meal breakdown having for lunch was a butter sauteed kale if you had told me three weeks ago that I would be eating butter like three times a day I would have said you are freaking insane but binge David Asprey from the bulletproof journals and you look at all these science back studies about your body needs butter make sure it's grass-fed as well the bones in the sardines have the omegas, they have cartilage in it as well, which is really important, and collagen. They are pretty much, if I could say, live off one thing to heal your bones, it would be salmon or sardine bones, which is why I choose it canned instead of fresh, so that I can actually eat the bones, I can get all the cartilage, all the collagen from it, and it's going straight to my bones. Also, remember, it has the omega-3s and 6s, which are anti-inflammatory, 
and de-inflammation is the most important thing when it comes to regulating your hormones just helping to lubricate your joints so again there's no pain there is no more wearing down of any muscle any bone it is pretty much a powerhouse then I had my egg as well in there again I wanted the healthy fats the healthy proteins the acetylcholine which is again it's the most important thing for inflammation in the body and think about it most autoimmune diseases come from inflammation so yes and the sauteed kale made sure because kale is very high in vitamin C so it helps your body absorb every single thing that you've just eaten there. the fats in the butter and the vitamin C and vitamin A and kale are what helps your body actually get the nutrients out of every single thing that you saw in that meal and then I had some smashed avocado on toast because I was feeling extra and I wanted it but now I'm gonna have to go change because I'm teaching yoga and I'm gonna take a couple protein bars with me and by the way if you don't have time or resources to make your own date balls or date bars it's fine get anyone off the shelf it's all about not being stressed during your healing process so just take any snack that feels good to you like a cornflakes bar a rice krispies bar the one like dipped in yogurt those are the best a Lara bar, an RX bar, anything you want. It's just about keeping a constant supply of fuel in your body. So as you'll see, I have more like meals throughout the day instead of just a snack like a, a banana or an apple. I make them into full-blown meals because again, I'm just trying to constantly fuel it. So there's never, never a point when my body's reaching into my muscles for energy or breaking down any of that. Every single little bit of resource it has, it goes to rebuilding my bones. Back from teaching, it's like five o'clock now. Before I get in the shower, I'm just gonna make myself a quick snack. So, made myself a quick snack. I made a smoothie. Now, I wanna show you guys one of the things that's really been helping me in my recovery. So, this beauty bomb. This is called Beauty Bomb, and it is from the Matcha Reserve. Now, what I love about this product is it has marine collagen in it. Collagen is essentially what builds up our bones, our joints, our body, it creates new things, but we're born with a lot of collagen as babies, but as human beings, we don't produce any, which is why it's essential to get it in from other sources. It's what rebuilds up your joints and helps, especially with things like arthritis, osteoporosis. Now, what I love specifically about the Matcha Reserve is they also have maca in it, maca which is known for balancing hormones and giving your body some energy throughout the day without the caffeine necessarily and then blueberry so it has blueberry powder which is a really high source of antioxidants again those antioxidants your body needs it to repair itself I like to put this in a smoothie I'm gonna list the ingredients of the smoothie in the somewhere on the screen because I'm gonna chug this down then I'm going to go shower and then I'll let you see what I'm having for dinner seriously this will be the best smoothie you've ever had though it's got but you can see the seeds from the kiwi. Yes. If you guys can get your hands on collagen powder, I would highly recommend it. Because like I said, it has made the biggest difference in me with my joint stiffness, everything like that. I've noticed my body healing, my hair growing thicker. And the matcha reserve again is because they've had the cleanest ingredients. And you know with the way I use Tropica and I'm so much of a... A product nerd especially as a nutritionist I'm very weary over what I recommend to other people now I do have three other things that I have from the matcha reserve but I'll show you that in another video because this video I'm keeping mainly based on bones the next one I'm gonna be doing is gonna be very focused on hypothalamic amenorrhea and the products that I take for that so we're just gonna keep it nice simple and easy this video Okay, so what you guys just saw me have there for dinner was my steak fajitas. I wasn't even planning on having that tonight. And what made this meal so good was I wanted something really high in iron, amino acids, protein, and good fats. And steak has all of the above. It was my biggest fear food up until slowly adding them in. Thank you so much again. Challenge me now because I would always advise it to clients 
trying to build up bone strength, it's one of the best things to build up your your bones, your muscles, there is so much more to stake than just protein. It's the essential amino acids that are mainly in meat. So if you are vegan, then I would look for amino acid supplements. Quinoa is usually really good for that. But anyway, and then I have the vitamin C once again in the red peppers for the veggie mix so my body could absorb everything that was in the food itself. Remember, you need a water-soluble vitamin so that everything can be absorbed from your bones, from your blood. It's the combinations that make a big, big, big difference. I had the carbs from the wraps, from the potatoes, and the pumpkin, which again had vitamin A and vitamin C. Once again, blood and bones. And the thing that made tonight's meal pretty difficult is my family all had steamed fish and veggies, but I knew my body needs more than that right now. So you've got to be big enough to the most difficult thing for me has been comparing my meals to the people around me but essentially I was like okay I could cheat myself eat what everyone else is eating but that's not sufficient enough for my body right now it needs I like I cook the steak in the butter it needs the fats it needs the specific amino acid profiles of all those wonderful glorious things and then of course I always finish off my day with the most important macronutrient which is soul food so I'm probably going to have my mint chocolate chip ice cream and maybe another protein ball. I'll show you one that I'm into at the moment. These are the coconut ones from the health lab. Now, they the reason why I love these is they have protein powder in it. And remember, protein powder is great because of the amino acids that it contains with it. And this one also has coconut oil, quinoa, which is... Again, full of the amino acids. Pretty much a, a bone bomb. So it looks like there's been a little house mouse or house rat, aka family member, that has been digging into my mint chocolate chip. So I have vanilla anyway, so I mixed vanilla and mint chocolate chip, which is just as amazing. I like to have something pretty high in fat and calories before I go to bed, which is why I have the full fat ice cream, like made with proper cream, like real stuff. Because your body has the most amount of energy to use while you're sleeping to heal and repair itself. And that's one of the best, best things you can offer to it. So having something with a lot of calories so that your body can direct those calories while you're sleeping, remember all the healing and repair, like reparation in your body takes place at night. Then the final thing that I do is I have a tea every single night. I'm going to show you what tea I have. This is called Calm Tea. Now, this has magnesium in it. Once again, magnesium is really important for building your bones, but also it reduces stress and cortisol in the body. So it helps you get into a deeper sleep state. And the deeper your sleep state, the more your body, again, is in that theta state, so it's going to repair itself. Guys, this has been the biggest game changer in my stress levels, my recovery, I managed to get into deeper REM sleep. This is really, guys, I can't recommend this enough. Find a magnesium supplement and take it before bed. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, leave a comment in the section below. If you want to see more videos, like food days for how to eat, for bone health, for amenorrhea, let me know and I would love to do a series on this, but it all depends on what you guys want. If you're still here, thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like if it helped you. Subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you on this journey with me and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.